Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Video Series. This first video will cover getting started. To begin, we'll work with enabling SOLIDWORKS Electrical for 3D use. In SOLIDWORKS 3D, select the Tools tab and navigate down to Add-ins. At the bottom of the menu, under SOLIDWORKS Add-in, there will be a SOLIDWORKS Electrical option. Select the checkboxes on both the left and right and then select OK. Once you do this, you will notice that the SOLIDWORKS Electrical menu appears in the top toolbar and at the right of the screen. Next, we will work on unarchiving the initial environment for SOLIDWORKS Electrical, which is a separate application, to be clear. To begin, select Unarchive Environment from the tab at the top left. You will then navigate to the location of the SOLIDWORKS environment you want to unarchive in your system. Once you do this, there will be a significant delay before the menu loads. This, in our case, took about 8 minutes as the timer that is now visible at the bottom right shows. Navigate through this menu by clicking Next at each option. This is selecting the information that you would like to add to your system. Once you complete these steps and hit finish, there will be a significant delay while it unarchives. In our case, this was about an hour and 20 minutes for the main SOLIDWORKS electrical environment that you will be using. Next, we will cover the SOLIDWORKS electrical user environment. This central space where the cursor is moving right now is your main workspace where you will actually edit and modify your project. You can see the Covered tab page is open, and to the left is the list of all the different sheets that you can open. These include your cover page, drawing list, electrical line diagrams. On the main toolbar above are your different modification tools, and above that are the tabs that organize the different tools. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit youtube.com/solidworks.